Just like when streaming services came along and it gave you the opportunity to have access to an entire library rather than owning things one by one, we've done exactly the same thing with our mockups and design tools. We wanted to give you that convenience to browse and design as you please. So there are a couple of benefits to having the digital downloads and there are also benefits for having the online editor. So for example, with the online editor, you can use just your browser, you don't need any software. So you just need to weigh up which option works best for you. So if you're a first time designer, then maybe the browser based version is gonna be best for you because you don't need to download or learn any software. It's all within the browser and there are only a few buttons. So it's very simple to use and I'll show you that in a sec. Or if you're going for the download versions because you're an experienced designer, then you're gonna get much more of a detailed approach so you can do all different angles and cameras and settings and play around with it to your heart's content because you're going under the bonnet with the master file whereas the editor version is just everything set up for you ready to go you can use any device you like with the online version as well there are some limitations with the 3d version just because that is quite heavy lifting so if you're using a device like an iphone for example you may run into some limitations because iphone unfortunately just isn't up to date with things like android so you'll probably run into issues if you're on anything below an iphone pro max and similarly if you're on really old computers as well like an intel you might get a little bit of lag because like i say it's completely dependent on the environment that you're working on but if you're using the 2d editor you can expect smooth sailing throughout because that's a really low weight and easy and quick to use so when you become a pro member you get access to all of these items marked with pro and there are loads in here all ready to go and you don't need to download them individually they are all editable within the browser. So I can go and show you one for example. So let's start with this one at the top. You'll see that everything is really simplified. We've just got a couple of buttons. So you see we've got color here at the top. We can set this to anything we like. We can go with black for now. And then let's go to design and we can just go and chuck any artwork on here. So you'll see that it clips to the garment as well and inherits all of these natural lighting effects as well. So we can then go and scale it and place it wherever we like. We'll put it there for now. And also another benefit to this is that you can stack everything up as well. So if you would prefer to work in this way, then you can just keep going and add in all these different elements. So for example, if you've downloaded one of our vector packs and you've got the PNGs, you could just go and chuck them all in here. And also this doesn't just take PNG and J JPEGs, it takes SVG files as well. So if you prefer to work in vector, then you can. You can just save it down as a SVG and then drop it in exactly the same way. You can rotate as well. So if we wanted to stick this down the sleeve, then we could just rotate it a little bit and then stick it into the position and you'll see that that clips to the sleeve nicely as well. And if you prefer to work in dark mode, you can switch this toggle on and off as well and that will change the settings to make it a dark environment. Totally depends on what you're happy working with. And then once we're ready, we just need to click export and then that will save it to your downloads. Then we can go to the 3D editor and in the 3D editor, it's exactly the same process. Everything is all in your browser. You don't need any 3D software at all and you get access to the entire library. So with the 3D version, you've got a few more features. So you've got the color of the garment. You can change that to anything you like. And then you can change the background to any color you like as well. If you wanted to change that background, you could set it to green and then you could use like a green screen remover as well. That's quite a good technique if you wanted to add some custom backgrounds and there are plenty of green screen removers online, all free and stuff to use. If you wanted to add a bit of a stone wash effect to your design, then you can do with that feature or you can dial it a little halfway or all the way to be off. Then we can go and place our design on here in exactly the same way that we did earlier and go and grab some artwork and we can resize it down in this little panel down on the side. So we can set it to be like a nice big back print or whatever size you want. And you'll see that while I'm editing here, everything is updating in real time over here as well. So we can click away from that and you'll see that the position and placement is perfect. We've got everything aligned exactly how we want all ready to go and we could just export that really easily. So this design was pre-built, so I've just added it in as one big image. But if you wanted to add in individual items, then you could do, so you can resize it and then rotate it. So you'll see that I can position that on the sleeve and I can update it in real time as well. So if I wanted to move it up slightly, it'll all be updating on the fly. So the only other thing I've got to show you is the camera. So down here, we've got a few different options. You've got the left, you've got the right, 
all different angles. So when you're happy with your design, you just need to click MP4. That's going to start recording the whole loop of the animation. And then when you're ready to stop it, just click record again and that will stop it. And then it will prompt you to save it down to your download files if it doesn't do it automatically. And that is literally all you need to know when it comes to using the 3D editor. Just like the Blender based version, these are brought to you in collaboration with Future Deconstruction. If you haven't seen his work yet, you really need to check it out on Instagram. His work is great. And these are all available for you to just get your hands on and customize in any way you like. So I hope that gave you a good overview and gives you an idea of which option you'd like to pursue. If you do sign up to the 3D mockup generator or the 2D editor or both combined, you get 20% off all the other digital downloads. So you might want to download some vector packs or you might want to download some fonts to go with your project. Totally up to you and it's something that you can benefit from from being a member. Or if you want to go from the digital downloads and own the product outright, then you can. And you can also save on bundles as well. We have a variety of different bundles available and they each give you different levels of saving. The more you download, the more you save. So it's totally up to you. You have two options there. And if you wanted to try this out for free, then you can. We've got some free samples for the 2D editor. Or if you prefer to sample the 3D version, then this file down here is completely free for you to have a little play around with. So I hope this video helped. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to stick them down in the comments. Like, follow, subscribe, all that usual stuff. And we'll see you guys in the next video.